So believe it or not, there are some major differences between all of these different uh, versions of the Civivi Elementum that we're seeing. We're going to take a look at the brown micarta up against the much newer S35BN. And how about even the redheaded stepchild of the three? This is the one in copper. I think judging by just like the, the sheer number of uh, different versions of the Elementum, I think it's safe to say that like that we and Civivi have finally realized how popular that this thing is. Hey, how you doing? If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay. Go ahead and consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just put it out there right now. I think that the biggest difference between the three is going to be the price. And I personally, I like that because, okay, stick with me here. Let's say you can't, you can't afford the $81 of uh, this S35 VN1. Hey, that's okay. They got you covered. Go ahead and get the uh, brown micarta and D2 blade for $52. Or, hey, maybe you love D2 steel, but you're just looking for something that's, um, I don't know, a little bit different, a little bit uh, fancier. That's all right. You can go ahead and uh, pick up the Elementum in copper at the mid-level price of $67. I don't know. It's just so nice to know that, that you have options and just all depending on what you, what you can afford. Now, up until, well, recently, the Micarta one had the best action out of any Elementum I ever got my hands on. I mean, it was drop and shut. I mean, the whole deal until now. The S35VN blows the rest of them away. I mean, in, it's, it's drop and shut with a couple shakes flies open. I mean, every time it is so difficult for me to get this to, uh, to fail on the deployment. So yeah, I'd say, uh, the detent dialed in perfectly here. Unfortunately though, which is why I referred to it as the redheaded stepchild, the, uh, the copper, no, it, this one, it has the worst the worst action out of out of the out of the three uh the, you know what the deployment isn't too bad but no matter what i do mm -mm, i cannot get it to uh to drop shut one thing that surprised the heck out of me is that even though both of these are micarta there is there's a weight difference yeah i wasn't expecting that the uh this one with the s35 vm blade is lighter at 2.5 ounces lighter than the brown micarta which comes in at 2.7 and the copper of course is you know it's the heaviest at about 4.6 ounces but that can't be a surprise to anyone because yeah either the copper or brass it's just it's a heavy it's going to be a heavy material there's also a difference in the blade thickness so the uh, D2 is going to be have the thicker blade. I don't know why I'm holding the two up together. It's not like you can tell when they're side by side. But the uh, this satin D2 blade has a blade thickness of uh, three three millimeters. Uh, you're looking at which you know. Now that I think about it, that explains why that this one is a little bit heavier because it has, of course, the thicker blade stock over the S35VN, which is about 2.6 millimeters thick. Now, one of the very few specs that, that are exactly the same between these three is going to be the width of the blade. Let me show you what I mean. So from when I measured from the spine to the sharpened edge, all three are the same, uh, just, uh, just under an inch at uh, 0.90. Since we are looking at a uh, like a measurable difference uh, between the the blade thickness, you know what that means. Yes, behind the edge, they are also different. So the D2 blade over here, the satin D2, is comes in at 0 0.0220. 
The black S35BN has a behind the edge of 0 0.0165. You know, one thing that I think that we should probably go ahead and check, you know, let me get my watch off because that's otherwise that just causes a glare, uh, is the, why don't we check the cutting performance between the, uh, the, two, the two materials. So the S35VN and then of course the D2. So I probably won't do the copper one since it also has D2 blade, but uh, let's start with that then. So brown micarta. Which also has, okay, so it has the thicker blade with the thicker behind the edge. Now let's quickly go ahead and jump to the S35BN. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Wow, I did not think that there would be that much of a difference, but there totally is. The S35BN, better slicer. Oh, and I should mention that these still have, they both have the uh, factory edge. So I haven't done anything to them. S35VN. Man, what a good cutter. I will say though that it does make perfect sense that the, the, the knife with the thicker blade is gonna have also the thicker handle, which is true. The D2 blade on the brown and the brown micarta has a, blade, has a thickness in the handle of 0 0.45 and then the OD green is about 0 0.43 inches thick. And once again though, the copper is going to be different from the other two because what I, I found really strange is that even though this, this copper, okay, with the D2 blade has the same blade thickness as the brown micarta, right? Both are three millimeters. I mean, both are D2 steel, but okay, the handle, the handle thickness is, is the exact same as the thinner bladed green micarta. I don't get it. And now I kind of had, I had the thought, okay, since we were looking at different handle, you know, the, the handle thickness was different. I was thinking that maybe if I measured like the individual, like the scale and the liner on each side of all three, I thought maybe that there'd be a difference there. Nope. They are all exactly the same at 0 0.1460 inches. Now I know that some of you might find this next measurement uh, well more important than others, but in the pocket, so the, the closed width, so I'm going to start out with the S35VN because this one had uh, took up the least amount of room. It was the narrowest at about 1.02 inches. And then next came the brown micarta, which is 1.04 inches. And of course, the, <laughs> the copper was the widest, took up the most amount of room in pocket at 1.07 inches. Now I know we're talking about, these are really just like finite, minuscule amounts of measurement, but hey, there's still differences, right? And one thing that I will never understand is the, I, I, I don't get why the pocket clip, why it remains only one position. There, I see that there's, that there's no reason that two holes could not be drilled on the other side, you know, just uh, to show us lefties a little bit of love. Something that I would love to know the answer of from you is, okay, which Elementum, uh, which one do you have, or which is your favorite that you plan on getting? So go ahead and put that down in the comment section below. I will tell you mine right now, and I'm just in love with this, uh, with the black S35VN up against those OD green micarta scales. Just gorgeous. So hey, if you enjoyed this video, okay, and you got like, I mean, just like any value whatsoever, would you do me a favor 
and just let me know by leaving one of these. And don't forget to click on subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. You guys take care. I'll see you later. I am going to be gone out of town. Yeah, for a week. I'm going to be fishing. I will have the camera with me though. So I'm going to try and go ahead and uh, I'll put up some videos of me out on the water fishing. And I don't, hey, we might even see a live stream. How about that?